Uh, what I'm hoping to see, it would not, not that what I'm hoping to see, what I know I'm going to see is complete destruction. Whoever we put in front of her, whether it's on the feet, on the ground, any area that this fight's taken, she'll win. She'll out-wrestle a wrestler, she'll definitely outstrike any strikers. Jiu-Jitsu uh, you know, practitioners, they won't be able to submit her. They won't be in a position where they can submit her, it won't happen. Um, I'd put her in with a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt and she'll turn him into a white belt within a few shots. So, come the 26th, that's just the start of what will be a long journey. And she is gonna absolutely steamroll through the UK divisions, and she's gonna run out of opponents very, very quickly. Nobody will wanna fight her, guarantee it. Um, how I met Natalie B was, I had changed gyms. Um, I moved fitness first, um, just cause I got bored of gyms, that was it. Not, not my training side, this was a commercial gym. Um, and then the person I was training with at the time um, shared a lot of issues like with her own businesses and stuff and I basically needed a pad holder. Finding someone that can hold pads is harder than hitting the things. Um, and I just, I'd just i seen Natalie around the gym a lot, obviously I knew who she was, I'd followed her career a little bit um, and she had an upcoming fight. I think she's come out of retirement two or three times and this was one of those occasions. Uh, I think she was doing a boxing match so she needed a sparring partner and I needed someone to hold pads so it was it was kind of like a mutual thing and we just started training and went from there. Um, then I think, well generally she's a very curious person, she wants to know anything and everything about everything. So there's me basically preaching about mixed martial arts the whole time, she's only ever done striking, she knows it inside out. But the grappling side of it, I think she was quite intrigued. So after her fight she started coming to a few sessions um, and just picked it up straight away so fast um, one of the easiest people to teach not necessarily because you know you can show her something once and she's got it but because she won't put it down she will not stop if you if we're having a race on a treadmill she'll win every time if you're gonna do a hundred press-ups she'll hit a hundred like she won't not hit whichever goal you give her hence why she got three world titles but that's how she then stumbled into MMA I think she saw it as a challenge um, and from my perspective, I then had a female fighter, which are very rare anyway, and she was just really damn good in a, in a tremendously short period of time. Natalie, how did Natalie come to me? <laughs> well, first she came to me by, well, she approached me by basically saying, can you train me? This was, yeah, a few years back now. Could you train me? Um, I said, no, I don't train girls. <laughs> I said, basically, no. I train blokes because girls, they, they whine, they moan, they cry. They can't take the pace. They won't be able to take the pace, the power. Uh, and uh, my idea of what fighting was, was just about um, head on, full on, boom. Um, Natalie coming to me, she was too soft. She was too pretty for my liking. Too pretty. Um, no, no, it, it's off-putting. It was off-putting because no one would take it seriously. And then, and then I started training her. And then uh, from the training, it just showed me a whole new side of, of, of women, basically, how, how hard they can train. And that, that, that really made me happy because uh, she, she surprised the hell out of me. She put so much work, so much effort. And that's what it is, it's the work and effort. And she listens. And uh, when things don't go her way, she gets upset, she cries, she, she, we had many tears, many tears, many tears. But um, I made a world champion um, through those tears, through the pain, the agony, the sweat, everything. She just, she, she proved everyone wrong. And I'm happy to say she proved me wrong. Because I was actually thinking, could I, could I do it? Could I train a world champion? I know this is a world champion, a female world champion in one of the hardest sports around, kickboxing. And I did. And she did. And she became world champion. And, and yeah, that's Natalie B right there. Um, pff, MMA, pff, I'm not, I'm, pff, I have no words whatsoever. I know she'll do it. When Natalie trains, um, she basically she puts the guys to shame. It's a male dominated environment. Um, I don't know if she was just born tough or whether she's developed over time. Um, I think through uh, you know a lot of adverse in someone's life that's when they get real character. And I know she's in a you know personal life and building up to her training everything she's been through a lot. And I think that reflects in her training. As I said she won't be beat. 
Um, so even though it's a male dominated environment, she doesn't let that be. I think she sees it as a challenge. She has to be everyone. Um, I, I did think it was her saying when she said you can't teach heart. Turns out she stole it from from her coach, uh, Mo Cargbo. Uh, he's been preaching it for years, but she, she's she been pouring it off as her own. But she's right, you can't teach heart. And you can have all the physical capability in the world, but if you don't want it more than the other person, you're not going to get it. And she is always the last to finish whatever it is that we're doing. Well, not the last to finish. She'll finish first, but she'll give it her all. You know, if there's an extra rep, an extra round, she'll be the one doing it every single time. She'll outlast everybody. Every time we've trained, I try and break her every single time. And I haven't once yet. She's literally crawled off the mat, holding her back, you know, holding her neck, broken bones, and as I said, crawled off, cried, and then come back, finish the session. She, you, you can't break her. So when we chuck her in a gym full of monsters, 100 kilos plus, that are throwing down bombs, slam all over the place, they're bigger, faster, stronger, more of a skill set, and they can't stop a 60 kilogram woman from coming back, show me a woman on the planet that's gonna stop that.